All right, what's going on, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Throwing Tantrums. This is Behind the Tantrums. So this segment is just me giving you guys behind-the-scenes updates of what's happening with the company and whatnot. So this past weekend, uh, the main things was this past Saturday we had uh, we shot a Halloween podcast. So that was a lot of fun. Uh, it's been it was nice to actually do an actual in-person Halloween podcast uh, with the whole aspect of you know. Uh, sharing ghost stories and whatnot uh, the first time we did that was back in 2020 everyone was locked in lockdown I was trying to do something with uh, with the team to kind of like build morale keep us connected even though we weren't able to dance with each other or see each other with each other all the see each other all the time so we figured aside from like doing zoom dance sessions or uh, game sessions or streaming and this would be one of the things we could do um, as we build the ch YouTube channel up. So some of the things we talked about was like uh, was the recent retreat experience. So we usually don't don't get to get the the perspective of the other members about the retreat. So it was kind of nice to hear uh, their thoughts on it because usually it was kind of just me and other members aboard just kind of talking about it and we just happened to record it on the drive down. So uh, other things we talked about was dance horror stories like the like what hor dance horror stories meaning like something like a really bad mess up during a performance or a bad experience at an event uh things like that um yeah uh, other questions we another one that kind of was, came to us that became a, its own separate episode was what happens after we die um do we believe in after in an afterlife or do you have believe in an afterlife like those kind of existential philosophical questions i felt like were relevant in regards to spooky season um because you know after this is, i'm going i'm going into like uh holiday mode until like christmas and whatnot and I, my, my mindset's kind of like oh october sco spooky scary stuff um particularly around the seasons where i really get int intrigued in the in that kind of stuff um and then we ended the podcast in sharing ghost stories uh some supernatural experiences or near uh near-death experiences um i've recently had so some new experiences same with max same with lauren uh same with brandon uh so those are the members of temper tantrum uh, assuming that you guys wh whoever is watching this is your first time watching us um so we had some new members and uh, new faces share their stories so that was refreshing and also awesome to hear um so I, i'm that should be out by by halloween and i'm excited for you guys to hear it uh and we also got to dress it up in regards to like um i had a light uh, set to look like it was uh, a campfire uh, that was something that I've always wanted to do and I want to keep doing it uh, f next year and it might not be like our stories because there's only like we don't experience supernatural stuff every day but it might be you know uh, user audience submitted story that we might read so you got you might share a story and we will read it uh, for the next podcast and the, ne the next Halloween podcast be on the lookout for that in regards to the Halloween podcast the past rehearsal we also did week three of breaking so uh we we just did a little bit of reviewing of the stuff we already knew but just and added maybe one or two moves here and there um one of the things that i really enjoy about seeing this is how good a lot of the mem members are getting it but also like seeing like am i really getting it am i doing it and then we're saying yes it looks good just like and then some of them like some of them is like mm, tweak it a little bit but the main thing is like they're getting it um, and it's just believing that they got it. So uh, it's cool s seeing where that is. And it, the, the biggest difference is like people who are just practicing it, they look good. But when it comes to actually doing, uh, doing it in a cypher or a freestyle circle, you can see where they kind of freeze up and it just, everything is just gone. So um, it's one thing to practice and it's another thing when others to do, to do it when others are watching. I believe that your knowledge is really tested under pressure and it, which is one of the reasons why i personally like doing the cypher at the end because you can practice 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 for the whole hour it might look good let's see how let's see how comfortable you can do it in the cypher okay after that we started picking up uh we're practicing again for one of our pieces for universal rhythm so that was a little bit for me personally for me just like a, a little bit of a struggle bus because like oh man this is um for me when it comes to this like i feel like the timeline it might be like this it's like three weeks but i'm like it might be tomorrow it's like I, there's a sen uh, sense of urgency that i have um that sometimes it might lead into borderline catastrophizing I'm like oh no we don't get it today we're not we're gonna look like garbage um but we got it done it was just like i think the 
main thing I'm working on is just trusting the process because not everyone works the same way I work. Because um, we got it done. We got all the choreography done. We got all the blocking done. It's just now we got to clean, which is what, what I want to do, uh, which is the main thing that we're going to be doing for the upcoming rehearsal. So what's coming up for us is uh, this weekend is also the last weekend of breaking training. We're going to finish that off with a battle because hip hop and breaking culture, it is an essential and integral part of it. So, and also through that, we're also going to be giving them evaluations in terms of like how well they've got the dance. Um, and a lot of them are doing good. It's like, I, and I am, I'm a firm believer of like feedback gives direction. So I, I, I just feel like um, it's one thing to just go to train and practice and practice and practice, but it's like, it's another thing to get actual direction and feedback from the teacher. Cause then you have an idea of where you stand. Cause sometimes you might practice for like three weeks, four weeks. And you're like, am I even getting any better? And that kind of, ha again, feedback helps give the direction. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that, that's it. Pretty short update. Um, keep an eye out for the Halloween podcast. Um, we hope that you find them entertaining. Um, at least a little bit spooky because we did uh, we have a tendency to uh, be a little goofy when telling these stories but keep an eye out for that so thanks for watching thanks for listening and i'll see you guys in the next one all right lesson of the week um i think and i'm especially feeling it right now and even more so last week um get rest get sleep <laughs> sleep is great especially when you get a full night's sleep um, how, uh, it's pretty obvious how important sleep is in regards to performance, whether it's for dancing or for uh, leading or for editing or for just being in relationship. It's it's in an ideal situation like I would, I'd be able to get like consistent eight hours sleep in terms of like the same schedule. But uh, there's a lot of moving parts consistently in terms of deadlines and in terms of like of uh, the work which makes it a little hard, but it's, but, um, that's the lesson that's coming up for me is like, I want, I would honestly like to get more sleep and make sure you guys get your sleep in regards to, uh, in terms of getting your rest so you can be able to perform in the best way possible. Um, I have these phases and moments of, I, I'm getting some pretty good sleep consistently and then work ramps up and I'm like obsessing and trying to get ahead as much as possible uh, and where it sleep becomes hindered considerably. Like uh, one of the reasons I, I'm, I believe I got hurt uh, from with te at temper tantrums last shoot was because I didn't get enough sleep the night before because I stayed up until like five and I, or we woke up at seven. So I only got two hours of sleep and I had, and then I had to do a breaking freestyle uh, and I was not warmed up and I did one of my usual tricks and I'm pretty sure I heard it that way. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm in a better spot now in terms of like where my back is, but you know, it's, it, I didn't get, I didn't get let my body mentally and physically rest to a point where I'm mentally and physically ready. I was, I think I was pushing it way too far and I'll, I'll be like if those who are in the space of like working for themselves freelancing being an entrepreneur your own business i agree that there are going to be moments where you do have to stay up where you have to burn you know the midnight oil or whatever the hell the phrase is um but that should not be the normal the norm all the time the longest i've stayed awake from what i recall in college was six days for some stupid project that i thought was going to be the end of the world if we didn't finish uh, and at the end of that, I fa someone found me asleep under the the under the computer lab under one of the computer labs because they accidentally kicked me to to wake up, and it was one of the worst experiences in terms of trying to stay awake. My head was I, was, I had a constant headache. My head was constantly bobbling over. Uh, fortunately, I did not have to. I didn't drive home that night. I just slept in my car. But anyways, it, it and then this is also like a habit of mine to I guess work with uh, because there are moments when you're in it you just want to keep going you want to keep playing the game um, and there are moments where I'm like that and there's also moments where like I have to hit this deadline um, there, I, I get it I, for me it's more of like get rest 
yes ultimately get rest um but also there's like context and nuance to it as well like in an ideal situation if there was if there was no xyz i would probably be aiming to get more rest but shit has to get done so that's it hope you guys enjoyed um this episode i'll see you guys in the next one peace